This is the AirHug 13 webcam. It's got a bunch of nice little features like a little ring light and dual microphones. It's got 2K recording. But there's a couple other little features that I really like about it. So let's talk about this camera. So I previously reviewed the AirHug 04 and they sent me the AirHug 13 to review. And it's got some really fun features that I like and this might become uh, the camera that I use at work to do all of my video conferencing that I have to do. So right now I'm recording on a C925E from Logitech. They're kind of the standard for webcams. They're not top of the line, but most people, when they're looking for a webcam, they think of Logitech. And AirHug has done a good job of entering that budget market and providing a really solid product that is fairly comparable to the Logitech products. So this particular camera will record in 2K at 30 frames per second. It has this little selfie illumination light here that's really nice. Hey, I needed to jump in here real quick and mention another feature of this camera that I forgot to mention. So. I did mention that it's got the light, but another thing that you can do with this is you can actually adjust the brightness of this light by just pressing and holding the button here. See there it's getting brighter, and here it's getting dimmer. And that works at all stages here. So if I switch it to the warm light, you can see it's very bright there, and now it's getting dimmer, and it does maintain the different settings per light. Forgot to mention that earlier in the review, which is why this is kind of kind of different here, but that's another really cool feature of this webcam. And another thing that I like, let me just unplug this, is that it has this little privacy cover that comes with it that you can take off and then put on the front of the camera. And then when you're ready to record, you just stick it in the back. So it comes with this mount for your computer. And it's got the screw hole to go on a tripod. It slides in there. So what's really nice is that it has two other mounting points on the side here. So I can remove the camera and turn it into portrait mode. And then use this camera in portrait mode if I'm streaming online to a platform that's vertical first. It also comes with two cables, at least mine did. Um, the USB-A to USB-C cable is the longest of them all. I think it's about seven feet long, so really good. You can move it around if your computer is down on the floor or off to the side somewhere. You can set this up on a tripod to record. And then it has a shorter USB-C to USB-C cable. That's you know, about two feet long, that will work just as well too if you're just gonna leave it on your monitor and you've got a USB port to plug it into. So let's switch over to some footage that I recorded with the AirHug 13 and also the Logitech C925E as a comparison. All right, so here I am with the AirHug 13. I'm about an arm's length away from the camera. The only light that I have on right now is the ring light around the camera and I've got some natural light coming in from the right. I want to move a little bit closer here. So now I'm closer to the camera so you can see a little bit better on how the light affects my face because that's really the point of this camera. Let's change the light color. The light is now off. Here we have like a daylight you have kind of a warm light, and then this is supposed to be the natural light. So let me get back to an arm's length here, and I'm going to start adding lighting in the room. So I've added a light up over here, and now I'm going to add this bar light that I have that I use, and uh, let's see how that changes things. So now there's the bar light. Next you'll see some footage of the Logitech C920 so that you can compare that. Okay, so now I'm using the C925E from Logitech. I have no lights on in the room, just the natural lighting coming from the light and 
however my monitor is illuminated. It does not come with a ring light or anything like that. I'm an arm's length away. So let's pull up a little bit closer and let's turn on this light up here. So now the light up here is on and if I back up again to an arm's length away, we can see the difference. So here's the same bar light that I was using earlier. Let's turn that on and you can see now what that looks like. So the video you saw previously for the air hug and the video that you're seeing right now is unprocessed and the audio is also unprocessed. So in looking at that video, you can see that the while the Logitech is a lot more sensitive when it comes to a low light situation and it's going to make a better picture, I think the Air Hug does a reasonable job. I did put the Air Hug in a pretty difficult situation and I think that it perform just fine. It's certainly going to perform better than most cameras built into a laptop or built into a monitor. So for $70, which is what it's going for right now on Amazon, I think this is a good buy and something you could consider, especially if you're in a situation where you generally have good lighting. The one thing that I noticed too is that the AirHug's microphones are better than the microphones on this Logitech camera. Now that could be because the microphones have gone bad on the Logitech or whatever the case may be. But what I noticed is that they pick up far more and they're doing a little bit more audio processing than the Logitech did. I actually had to boost the audio quite a bit more from the Logitech footage than I did for the AirHug. So all in all, I think the AirHug 13 is going to be a good buy for you if you're looking for an inexpensive selfie camera, web camera that you can use that has a ring light built into it so that if you're in some situations where you need a little bit more light and you're going to be close enough to the camera for this light to work because it's not really a super bright light, if you're going to be close enough to that camera, then this is going to work out for you. The fact that you can put it in portrait mode as well is a nice little feature. And the fact that it has this little privacy cover that you can put on it is really nice too. That was a nice little touch, I thought. So this gets a thumbs up from me. And uh, there's a link in the description as well as at the end of this video if you're interested in buying it. I'm John, your Gen X grandpa. Thanks for watching this review and stay tuned for more. Bye.